Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kimberly and I have ADHD. So today I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about some tips and tricks that have really worked for my ADHD um, and using a planner together. Um, I don't really want to call them hacks because they're just things that I've noticed about myself um, that, you know, just they kind of make it easier for me to use my planner, stick with a planner, um, and all those things that you guys might have issues with or trouble with too. So um, just to dive right into it, again, if you are new here, this is the Panache Planner um, Company, which is my company, and this is the ADH Done Planner. So everything in here is what you would get, um, aside from just a couple of things, just a couple of pages, uh, what you'll get if you get the startup kit, and it is completely customizable. Um, if you saw my last video, each month section, all of those things, they're not contingent upon the previous page. They, they can all be moved around individually and separately. So without further ado, like everyone else says, um, let's just get into it. Um, so the first thing that I always like to make sure is that my planner is visible. If it's not visible, it does not exist, which sounds crazy as someone who's a planner person, but I will forget to use my planner if I don't see it. And so I always want to make sure that my um, my planner is somewhere that is within eyesight, within reach, so I can absolutely just, you know, lean over, write down what I needed to write down, and move on. Because if I have to, which again, this might be a small tangent, but you want to eliminate the barriers of entry to using something. So if I have to, you know, flip open to a page, or flip open, find whatever page I'm looking for, and then try to write down what it is. I may have forgotten what I was gonna write down by the time I find my page. So that kind of segues into my next tip, which is using page markers or bookmarks. And I have, if you can see right here, I have a today bookmark. You will also get these, you get two a month um, for the monthly subscription. And so this is, uh, this is obviously today, and I need to add some more inserts. Um, for the rest of the month and just it's been so much easier to just you know go right here and I can just put my finger right there to the today and just open it up and scribble down whatever I need and then I can close the planner back up and leave it or I can leave it open but using any kind of page marker is so critical to someone who needs to be able to find things quickly and has a tendency to forget things so the other thing that I use are these um, magnetic bookmarks and this takes me to my inbox but if you see here they're just you know they're just magnets and um, these are actually something that I'm gonna offer as well um, in the shop I don't know if they're gonna stay this shape but these are also brand new I want to I've been testing them out again I always test things out before I put them on the website for you guys but they are just magnetic bookmarks um, and I'm thinking they'll only be in a few colors uh, so right now I just have uh, black and white but Here's the white one, and then they just stick right onto your page, boop, just like that. And then you can find it easier, and it does not bulk up your planner, which is something that's very annoying to me. It just, it's, I mean, you can find it, you can flip right to it, and um, get right to your page. So that was another one that I made. It just has cheetah print on it, um, leopard print. And my black one is whoop, next to me is right here so this is the black one it's just again it's super straightforward it magnets black it's just <laughs> the different color so those have been so easy for me to just kind of implement into my daily planning routine because it is just so hard when and so frustrating if you can't find a sticky note you can't find your pen you can't find everything that you might need and you forget what you were trying to write on in the first place. So um, the next tip that I want to say is going to be to use durable covers. And I haven't actually heard anyone really say this before. And I was like, you know what? That's something that I wanted to address because I am so, I just, I have sensory issues. I wouldn't say issues, sensory. I'm oversensitive and hypersensitive to the way things feel and how they operate. So if you've ever had a Happy Planner cover, they're fairly thin. They are like a 10 mil laminate, 10 or maybe 20, 10 or 20 mil laminate. And that was always like too flexible, too flimsy for me. So this is the these are the covers that uh, you would get with the ADH Done Planner. And they are a poly, they're a frosted poly cover. So it pops right off, but they are so nice and thick. 
um, but they're still flexible. And that was really important to me to find something which, of course, whenever like whenever you're being like filming something, nothing ever works, right? So um, pops on, but I like that it's durable enough for me to you know write if I wanted to you know flip flip to the page. And then write, I can write on itself. And I know that this isn't going to like um, bend too much or kind of fall over in, in a certain way. I, can, I have written, you know, on my lap, I've written standing up, I've written all kinds of things um, with these covers. And that's, that's the thing I really love is to use, just make sure you're using a durable cover, whether it's the leather, whether it's poly, whether it's, um, I don't know, what are the other options? Um, any other material, but make sure that it's something that's going to be durable because again like i said last video if you treat your planner kind of like i do i just throw this in my bag and i don't want to have to worry about my corners um again if you've ever had a happy planner the corners they may start to uh, separate or peel up and that is incredibly frustrating because then you're like oh well i had this great you know planner that i really loved the cover on um but the corners are peeling up and it's like april <laughs> right so um when i did so a small side note um when i designed this planner and what i was trying to figure out for covers i wanted something that you guys can customize um that will give you the option that'll be durable enough that you can change it if you want but it's going to hold up to wear and tear and i've been using this for like the last month and a half and it still looks brand new so it holds up very well but then unlike the happy planner where if you have a design that you really like and you, the, the page or the corner, excuse me, try, starts to come off, that planner is almost unusable now because it's like, oh, well, I love this design, but now the, the corner's peeling up. So instead I kind of went backwards where I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna give you the clear cover, but then you can put whatever you want inside so that way you can still see it. But then if you're like, oh, I'm sick of this and I wanna change this out and you wanna change your covers like most happy planner people do, um, then you can just change out your paper. So this is just literally an insert of the 2023 uh, cover page that you guys get. So I might change it later. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. But I like this just because it tells me exactly what year it is. And I don't, I mean, I don't need a fancy cover. I'm not a cover, like, I don't know. I, I don't change my covers with the seasons or anything like that. But I like if I feel like I get a, just on a random whim, like us ADHD people do, um, I always like to be able to just change whatever's behind this. And I might, I might put like flowers or something. I don't know. But I wanted to give you guys the option to be able to customize it how you want it. Not here's the cover options that you get. And it's like this pattern that you're like, well, I'm just going to take this pattern off anyway. That's pointless to me. But anyway, make sure you have a durable cover and um, durable pockets too. So this is the one that I have in here right now. Um, make sure there's nothing in here that you guys can't see except for dog hair because I have a German shutter and she gets hair everywhere. So um, this is a, just a pocket that is like a coated cardstock. And um, I like that it is thin enough to not bulk up my planner, but it's also durable, durable enough where it's not going to rip, which I really like. So make sure you have durable covers, durable pockets um, in your planner because we, tend to be those, you know, those kids where you come home and your backpack is just stuffed with papers and it's all just a mess. So, um, I'm trying to help by giving you guys the tools, um, and just trying to give you some tips to, <laughs> to work through it. Um, and the next thing, of course, I've mentioned this before, but keep everything that you could possibly need with your planner. So if you saw in the very back, I have my stickers that I keep. So these are my checklist stickers. These are my pack order stickers. These are the stickers for when I travel or when my boyfriend travels. Um, and then I have every, you know, little box sticker that I would need is all in here. So this is kind of its own living organism, its own little ecosystem of everything I need is right here. And these are just pen loops that I put on here, just adhesive pen loops. I usually have two. One is either for either the paper mate flare that you saw me take off or a red one um, for marking out my plans that may have changed. So I either keep the flare and a, um, the flare and a regular just writing, just black gel pen. Um, I, I'll either switch it out for either a red one or the, or the flare. It depends on however I'm feeling, honestly. Um, and what else was I gonna tell you guys about having everything in here? So stickers, pen loops, 
you, I, I just, I like that I don't have to, you know, bring this plus a planner pouch plus a planner bag. It's just like everything I need is here. And I don't do like crazy decorative planning anyway in my planner most of the time. Let's not, let's, I'm not going to lie. I have, I will sometimes put washi tape or something in there, but that's usually at home. I don't take it with me when I'm out and about, but if I'm at the doctor's office, which this is a real life example, I was at the doctor's last week and I needed to plan out some of my stuff and we're, and I had a follow-up appointment. And so I was like, Oh, this is perfect. I just pulled out my planner, put in a little box sticker, put it on there, put the date of my next appointment and wrote it in there. And then we we're good to go because I keep everything that I need in my planner. So the other thing that I think would be advantageous um, to offering to you guys, which I haven't mentioned before, um, oh, maybe I did, um, was the zip pouch. So the zip pouch, which let's see if I have it here. Um, oh, I don't, nope, so that one is not the right one. Um, I got, so long story short, I had some and then I didn't like the quality of them, so I went with a different supplier and um, it's going to, it's ring punch, so you can either have it on the outside or the inside of your planner but it's gonna be ring punched and it's just gonna be a zip pocket that um, that's clear and you get that with your setup kit. So I might offer it every month too. I haven't decided yet, but it is a just a zip pocket with the, the punches on the side where you can just throw in a pen or anything like that if you don't have a pen loop. Um, what else? What else is I gonna tell you guys? Um, you know what, I think the other important thing for someone with ADHD is to change your planner as often as you want. I don't think that anyone really talks about this, but you feel, you almost feel obligated to stick with a planner um, throughout the whole year, whenever you pick one or whenever you buy a new one, you're like, oh, well, I, I spent the money on it. I have to stay in this, even if it's not working for you. Um, you know, a planner is a tool. A planner is a tool to help you be more productive and to stay on track. And I... I guess the best way to put it is, you know, if you had a broken hammer, you wouldn't keep using the broken hammer and saying, well, I guess it's fine because I already bought the hammer and it's missing, you know, the, the head. Like that doesn't make any sense. A planner is a tool. So if your planner is broken or if the system is broken, change it, get, get a new one, buy a new one, find something else that works for you that works a lot better. Because like I said, it's a, it's a tool to help you. It's not, you don't let your planner define you basically. Um, I know that we, we always think where it's like, oh, it needs to be this certain way because I saw someone else have it this way or because I bought it, you feel obligated to, to stick with it. Because as, again, if you have ADHD, you feel like you never finish anything and you're like, well, I'm gonna finish this planner. You don't have to because it's just a tool. It is just here to help you be more productive. And if you are not being productive, then it's failing and it's a broken tool. Um, which kind of goes to my next, I guess, tip is not to feel obligated to make it pretty. I know that we see on Instagram, you know, all the beautiful planners and I, I'm, I love looking at them. I adore it. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. People have beautiful spreads, but I know that that's not me. And I know that I'm not going to spend the time to decorate something. Um, and if I do, it's going to be after I've already planned for the day. So I posted, um, I think yesterday, but it was just like, you know, your planner doesn't need to be, see, even like this, like I tested a pen in this. So like, you don't need to have a beautiful spread for your planner to be functional. It just has to be functional. It just has to work. And I don't think that you need to let a planner define you or define your self-worth, whether it's the fact that you didn't finish it or if it's not pretty enough or if it doesn't look like everyone else's. Um, and I see that a lot. Sorry, this is getting very deep, but I see a lot of people think that, you know, having this planner, it's, you don't need to define, like I said, yourself, your self-worth or your mood based on a tool. It's just a tool. It's just here to help you. Bonus points if it's pretty, but don't let it define you. It is not here to, you are not measured by how pretty your planner is. You're not measured by the amount of likes on your picture of your pretty planner spread. If you really want to, then have one that's all pretty and decorated and one that you can take pictures of and put on Instagram and then have one that actually works for you. Um, maybe that is one planner, who knows? But for me, I am not a, have a beautiful aesthetic planner and show everything on there. I am a realistic, functional, to the core planner. 
I need it to be able to function throughout my day and it doesn't look pretty all the time. It doesn't look pretty most of the time, honestly. And when you guys see those um, beautiful spreads, it's either when I did it after the fact, after the day was already done and I have like 15 sticky notes that I needed to write down what I actually did that day. Um, but that's that's real life, guys. That's That's my life. And I've, you know, struggled for a long time with thinking that because my planner doesn't look like everyone else's that I was failing and it's not that is not the case guys so you're not alone um like I said if you want to make two planners and then I guess my very last tip is that um like I said it's I kind of already touched on it but a planner is a tool and if your tool is broken stop using it find something that works for you it is a system it is not a it could be, it's kind of an extension of yourself as far as your creativity, if you use it for that purpose, but it is not a one size fit all planner just because you saw someone else having their beautiful planner on Instagram. Maybe it's, you know, maybe you see someone in, you know, Hobonichi Weeks or in a rings and something like that. And I know that I've tried them. I've tried <laughs> every planner system out there, uh, basically. And you know what, I know what works for me and I know what I need and it's, you know, discs, discs work for me, at least in this season of my life. And that would be my final point, guys, is that your planner needs to reflect you at this time in your life. Just because you used one type of planner when you were 18, 25, 43, it doesn't matter. You need to find the system that works for you at this, at, in this season. And the planner that I'm using now in my 30s is not the same planner that I used in my 20s. I bullet journaled in my 20s and now I can't do that. I don't like that I can't customize it. There's, I'll have a whole other video about what does and doesn't work for me and why I switched planners, but maybe I go back, maybe I don't. I don't know, but right now, discs are working for me again and they worked for me in 2018 and they worked for me in 2017. So I just came back to them. And like I said, you just need to make sure that whatever you're using is the right tool in this time of your life. Um, and it's gonna change. We always change. Our style's never the same and our planners are probably not gonna stay the same either. So um, that was it. I, I know it was kind of deep, um, but I wanted to make sure that I got a video out to you guys that was you know honest and real because we see so much on social media that is not real. And I wanna make sure that this channel and everything that I share with you guys is always real. So. This is my real planner. Um, <laughs> this is what I use. It's it's a chunkster right now. Um, I need to take some page, some of the old pages out from January and February to to clear up some space. But thank you guys again. Um, I would appreciate it so much if you liked and um, subscribe. Turn on your bell because I'm not super consistent with uh, <laughs> with posting. You'd probably figure that out because I have ADHD. Um, I have tried to film a video for the last three days and it just has not gone according to plan. <laughs> so um, please subscribe, click the notification bell, um, give me a, send, give me a comment and let me know what, what are you using right now or what, or tell me what hasn't worked for you. Or if you found one of these tips really helpful, let me know too, because you know, you guys are driving what I put out and I want to make sure that I'm putting out stuff that you guys are interested in. So give it a like, comment, subscribe, all of those YouTube-y things. Um, I appreciate it so much, and I am so glad that you guys are here. And until next time, bye, guys.